man. It's going great. Heart of battle. That's My great. heart is fully here, man. Yeah, is your uh, heart full of love? Ooh, or is it a heart of fire? It's full of love and friendship, man. Oh. My friends are my power, and I have a lot of friends here today, including some people who are in the bracket, even these young smashers. Before us now, Void and Master Mario, this is the other side of top 48, so That's we get right. a fresh set of faces. That's uh, right. Brand new players for you guys today. And I am just so excited to see what these two players can, can pull out here at Heart of Battle. I mean, Void coming off hot from last weekend. You know, he was in grand finals, gets second place at Genesis. Yeah. What a feat to hold. He is coming in hot for sure. And of course, he's got, I mean, I was about to say he's got a really great character. Oh, yes, he his, does. Uh, yes, he does. Disposal. But I was expecting the Pichu. You know what? A lot of people were expecting Pichu, but today, Boyd is not going to play Pichu. Not He's at actually, all. No, none. He no hasn't Pichu. gone Pichu at all. Put the mouse back in wow. the cage. Say, you get it's a time rest. time to have some fun. It's time to have some fun. And mean, he's in winner's top 48 right now, so this boy's got to be good. Oh, and you know he's playing the boy. He's really showing off on his name. Uh, with Roy the boy. I mean, he's saying that he was going to play Roy. He said he was going to play uh, Wolf and Peach, I believe. Okay. Well, right now we're seeing the Roy getting kind of laddered to the top by Mario. I, I've heard this is a really good stage for Mario. I can see why the platforms are really good for those extensions and a lower top blast zone as well. That's right. Allows him to get those kills off the top. Just the fact that he's able to confirm Ooh. off those and reset off the platforms, but that uh, double-edged dance is no laughing matter. Yeah. It can kill you at as early as 80%. And that's exactly what we saw there by the ledge. Roy taking the first stock. Void having an early advantage now. Oh my god, that could have been the stock right the there. The turnaround! <laughs> Absolutely brilliant play from Void right now. I mean, a lot of people forget that uh, this character's got damage. Oh, this character's yeah. got power. Oh, absolutely. All right, great up smash out of shield between the hits of the double edge dance. That's, that's, you gotta be confident in those up smashes for sure. Okay, gets the trade, and oh. Master Mario not able to make it back. Was so that trade, actually, that was definitely worth in Void's favor. Yeah. Uh, in Void's eyes, at least it was worth Yeah. And, and to be fair, like, if Master Mario had been ready for it, he could have also teched the stage spike and survived. Let's say, uh, here we go. Mario combos. Mario combos. Mario uh, combos. gonna finish it. An up B off the top, not enough to take Void's. Uh, second stop. Good DI coming out from Void. Now Void with center stage. And he's, he is in a really high percent, which uh, will give Master Mario access to a few kill options. But at the same time, with Void's, Void's damage output on this character, he can easily go from 0 to 80. Uh, Master Mario's not too far behind right now. As long as he doesn't take too much damage and takes the stock immediately, he should be able to uh, pull himself back in. Unfortunately, Void is not giving him any chance whatsoever. Up the down air out of shield, smart option for Master Mario. And now we see scramble situation from both players. He's going to be able to land the hit, and it's Master Mario who comes out on top. Again, confident with these up smashes. He knows exactly when to uh, put those out between uh, the second and third hits of the double edge dance. Mm -hmm. I like that. Even though uh, we really only seen Eruption land one time, uh, most players can actually just do get up attack from the ledge and it'll beat out the eruption, but he's still using it to apply pressure. Yeah, I mean, you might as well. It has really, really low end max, so you can usually cover yourself. And there's a forward smash. Still not enough to take the stock. Excellent DI from Master Mario. Oh, you gotta watch those Ooh. double jumps, especially when Roy's charging his neutral B. Oh, That's stick it sword in the air like you just don't care. <laughs> And Master Mario, man, despite that uh, first game loss, he is, uh, he's, you can know his heart, his heart is here because he's definitely just finished at Kingdom Hearts 3 and he's wearing the, the merch to show it. Oh, is he? Yeah. So you finished the game, right? I did. I so did. you know the ending. I know the ending. Okay, right? I don't know the ending. Well, I'm not going to tell you, dude. <laughs> I'm not going to be that me. guy. I waited, I waited so long for that game, <laughs> so I know what it's like. I, I removed myself from social media until I finished the game. That's, That's a smart that's how much move. It was important to me. So. You know who's not trying to remove himself from bracket? Master, Master Mario. Mario. Exactly. So we're gonna go into this game two. I like that we're going to the same stage because it definitely didn't really affect um, the gameplay so much. It, it, it could have been a lot closer. Just I mean, need to make a few more adjustments. And, and we uh, did see uh, Master Mario actually using the platforms to his advantage. He was right. able to reset, uh, jump, and then continue and extend his up air combo. Right. And that's exactly what I meant to say. That it's more so in his favor, anyways, even though he lost exactly. on this stage. You're right, but the person who's answering back with up airs was uh, Void, already putting Ooh, Master Mario at yeah. over 100%. Yeah, and he's definitely got a uh, picked up on the pace of Master Mario. Uh, F2 
tilt to turn around back air, sealing out that first stock with style. Yeah, Roy is, Roy is like a combo machine if he's able to land like one of three hits. If he gets a jab, he can pretty much throw out any move uh, after that. Look at this sharking with down air. Even if Master Mario gets hit by the tipper, the weak spot, he's still going to get hit by another up air. Boy, at 104% here on his first stock. Master Mario not quite getting the read there on the tech situation. Oh, the damage continues for uh, for Boyd. We're going to see a back throw. This is an edge guard opportunity. Two fireballs netting him. Uh, a little bit of an edge guard, but Boyd able to secure his safety back on the stage. Okay, side B1, double edge dance one into F tilt. That's a good mix up because usually people will try and like drop their shield in between the double edge dance. Oh, the last hit not connecting. That definitely would have killed. But now we see a back throw. This yeah, should this be should the stock. Be the stock, absolutely. And it even looked like Boyd knew and he just DI'd in that direction to get that stock out of the way even faster. That's right. Let's get it over with. Let's move on to the next stock. Here's another jab into a turnaround back there. That uh, works at late percent, unfortunately, from the position on the stage. He didn't get the strong hit to get the kill. And Master Mario trying to carry him off to the top again. Soft hit back air. And now Void with stage control. But the eruption lands as Master Mario peeks above the ledge. Yeah, this play there from Master Mario. But he's bringing it right back. And back air putting Void off stage. It's the ledge play. Oh, here we go. Okay. Good DI from Master Mario. I've seen so many uh, like highlight videos just start with neutral air from Home Roy. I thought we were about to see one. Yeah, Master Mario securing uh, Boyd's second stock there, bringing himself back down to one stock apiece. 69% on Master Mario, just barely trailing percent in percent, but he can get one grab, up throw, and then uh, reset into some more. And I mean, any combo off these platforms is easily going to make this percentage back. Oh, this is the start of something beautiful right now, potentially. That's right, he's only, only able to net one down air from that up throw. But now Void turn starts swinging the sword wild. Yeah, I do like that Master Mario didn't overcommit, though. He knew he didn't have anything really guaranteed after that point. Yes, yes, taking the guaranteed damage, the bread and butters, and then uh, just resetting back to neutral, trying to land another hit to open up Void. But Void landing a pair of his own. Oh, wow. So that looked like he was going for another double hit. Oh, oh, he can't make that back. And the clutch play from off stage by Master Mario, getting the cape on Void's recovery, turning him around and flustering Void a little bit. I, I don't think he was going to make it back even if he had up B, but it looked like he tried and, and just uh, side missing for the side B as well. So right. just even securing his his death even further in that case. Sometimes when you're playing Roy and you're, you you want to get these like specific angles, you yeah. just go a little bit too far yeah. too far to the left or right. Oh. Sounds like when you're trying to like up B with Wolf and you get side B instead or side yeah, B instead. Yeah, very, up B, very yeah. similar. There's a lot of angles like that in this game where, where you have to input your recovery very precisely. Oh, to, to everyone to has angles. <laughs> yep, I love it, man. Okay, but now we have a, a character switch from Boyd going to to your boy. Wolf, I mean, I was just talking about Wolf. It's almost like he hurt me. Made, made my comment a little bit more relevant there. 56% <laughs> on him right now, but he, Wolf hits so hard. Oh, yes. There it is, yeah. I mean, every character, like, just about every character in this game has is a damage machine. Yeah. Just the damage output in this game naturally is high. Absolutely. So bringing back percent deficits is no, uh, nothing nothing too hard for anyone. No, really. definitely not. The only difference with is, is there are some characters that are more combo heavy, such as Mario, whereas Wolf, I mean, he got made that percentage back, not necessarily off of combos, but after just single hits, two, three single hits. And there's that percentage right back. That's right. See a totally even situation with Master Mario potentially setting up the edge guard with the fireballs here. Yeah, the fireballs were in a great position just in case Void tried to side P. He would actually get caught and then put Void in even worse situation. 112 on Master Mario to Void's 122. Practically anything from Wolf is going to kill right now, but Master Mario's main uh, options are going to be that up smash, and he definitely gets the the read from the ledge there. Oh, but Void answering right back, getting the revenge kill with the back air. Now it's Void dancing around the stage, trying to avoid getting opened up and taking 80. No surprises. I mean, Void is such a precise player, wasting absolutely no time. He gets a grab. Down throw to forward, uh, for dash attack, excuse me. He's yeah, gonna we're gonna do see it another again. one. Yeah. 
But a good tech from Master Mario is going to make sure that he doesn't get uh, just uh, continued on. Up throw down here for Master Mario. He's trying to harass him with the other up pairs on the platform. Dash dancing away from that up throw and getting a dash tech of his own. And an up smash for Void. Damage just continues for Void. Yeah, Void securing the second stock already. Putting Master Mario in this deficit, getting forward air to grab, man. That's so beautiful. And then get, continuing with the dash attack afterwards. Lots of damage. We're going to see an up throw. We're going to chase him up air. Oh, oh, he went for the God. money maker. Oh, and boy, uh, I mean, Master Mario had the right idea with the cape. He just uh, misspaced it a little bit. <laughs> see, good the cape tipper. definitely would have killed Boy. You think it would have? Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, definitely like the momentum. Sent, yeah, I see. Sent, okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Unless he landed on the stage. Yeah. There's the up smash, getting it off of the fireball, missed tech from Void. The one thing that I like from Mr. Mario, and he's consistently done this, is that he'll chuck fireballs to space, and then he'll chuck fireballs to approach. And he actually covers his approach using those fireballs, putting his opponent into shields, and then converting off that, uh, off that fireball. And what a read off the ledge. Even on Town and City, that up tilt is so strong, gonna get the stock off the top, Void securing a 2-0 lead in this set. Why is that up tilt so strong? Um, I mean, look at I'm it. asking you look as a wolf it, main, why? Look he literally, it, it's not even like snake up tilt though, he's just like, but it is, he's bro. like doing high kicks. He's but like stretching. Do you, have you seen his feet? <laughs> have you seen Wolf's feet? Do he ain't got metal seen? feet. Are you kidding me? Have you looked at his boots? <laughs> he got boots, yeah. They, they have, he has metal boots. He got worker boots, that's for sure. Nah, he's got metal boots, dude. <laughs> it's like, you know, the, the whole, like, the Star Fox gang have metal feet. That, yeah. That's just a theory. Oh, really? I see. I see the metal on this guy. He's wearing metal claws on his hands and feet. Okay. Of course his stuff hurts. Okay. Well, of course his stuff hurts. Wolf's back on the shelf, put him back in the pocket, because now we got oh Daisy coming God. out. Oh, my God. Three characters in one set. Can he get the 3-0 victory? I we'll mean, see. these are the three characters that he said he was going to play. My boy, uh, Master Mario has one. Yeah. one. We've only seen two games, right? Uh, no, this is game three. So Void won with Roy. He won with, a, uh, with Wolf. And now he's playing uh, Daisy. Right, so it's 2-0. Oh. So oh, no, Master Mario took a game off for his Roy. I must have missed that game. I, you know what? It was a flash. <laughs> it just happened so fast. <laughs> Anyways, right back into it on Town and City. 45% to 99. Boy trailing a little bit now. But with uh, the way that Daisy moves, especially, uh, you know, of course, against the brother-in-law, he's definitely going to put the hurt on. Look at those low cancels. Absolutely. I mean, Void definitely showing mastery of multiple characters in the set so far. Now, funny story. When when the game was coming out and we were, like, first starting last days, you know, day one, day two early, uh, he actually wanted to main uh, Daisy. Interesting. But he wanted to play this character competitively, but then he found, you know, his, his true eyed and true with Pichu. Pichu. Pichu is definitely a character that fits his style a lot more. Master Mario taking the first stock there. 116% though, nothing a forwarder can't take out of, and that's exactly what Void gives him. Right, that crown, no matter which crown it is, hurts really bad. Actually, it's really like that. All crowns hurt. <laughs> All crown. Oh yeah. Okay, K. Rool's <laughs> got, got a crown. Peach got a crown. Daisy got a crown. <laughs> it's just funny because like two of them are these dainty princesses, and one is this big old ugly cro crocodile. <laughs> Well, another forward air connect for Void. Now Master Mario is going to have a tough time making it back. Yeah. Actually cannot make it back. An ugly time, if you will. 70% <laughs> now on Void. Master Mario trying to find an opening with a backer, trying to catch the landing with an F smash. I don't know if that would have really killed uh, yet, especially since he was so far to the left of the stage. It would have it definitely sent a message to Void. I think that would be the main intent. Exactly. Sometimes it's just about sending a yeah. message. And with the message that Master Mario likes to send to a lot of his opponents, is that he's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> he's actually the wild card of SoCal oh, because yeah. you never know when he's going to go for the hype play or if he's just going to go for the easy bread and butters. Right. The, it's the, 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 uh, the clinical plays. Yeah. And it's, like, it's not even like a matter of conditioning your opponent. Like, oh, yeah, Z Fly, you know, you condition your opponent and then you switch it up. It's just like he will do it randomly. <laughs> that was a missed up smash opportunity for Master Mario. Peach Bomber right in his face, completely with. Uh, must be beating him up himself up a little bit, but probably not because he gets an up smash right there. But 90%. This is uh, 
a really dire situation for him right now. A lot of kill options for Void. There's one right there, that forward air connecting onto Master Mario's shield. A lot of these aerials hurt with a down air to start a combo and an up air to extend it. Slowly chipping damage away at Void. Playing oh. a lot slower now, understanding that he has to be a lot more careful with his hitboxes. That's right, we're even approaching a percent where, like, um, those rows are, are at peace with the Any other stage, I think that up smash might have done it. Iron City is such a high blast zone, not enough. He actually dies off the top left to mm -hmm. that forward air. Which means it had.